blues out on the ocean Blues all in the air I can't stay here no longer I have no steamship fare When my earthly trials are over Cast my body out in the sea Save one undertaker bill Let the mermaids flirt with me I do not work for pleasure After peace I'll see no more The only reason I work at all Is to drive the wolf from my door When my earthly trials are over Cast my body out in the sea Save one undertaker bill Let the mermaids flirt with me Wife controlled our happy home, which two daughters cannot find. The only thing I can call my own is a troubled and a worried mind. Now when my earthly trials are over, cast my body out in the sea. Save one undertaker bill, let the mermaids flirt with me. Blues all in my body, my darling has forsaken me. If I ever see her face again, I have to swim across the sea. When my earthly trials are over, cast my body out in the sea. Save one undertaker, Bill, let the mermaids flirt with me. Blues out on the ocean, blues all in the air. I can't stay here no longer. I have no steamship fare. When my earthly trials are over, cast my body out in the sea. Save one undertaker bill, let the mermaids flirt with me. So after John Hurt made his original recordings in 1928, he didn't uh, record again uh, until his rediscovery in 1963. And the recordings he made between 63 and 65 are absolutely outstanding and among the best uh, work that he did. Now, one of the songs that he recorded at this time is a tune that he co-wrote with a guy named W.E. Meyer, who lived in Virginia, and he ran a furniture store. And he sold Victrolas. And when you sold Victrolas in those days, you also sold, you know, recordings. You sold 78 RPM discs, so people had something to play on their Victrolas. And so when he got John Hurt's 1928 recordings in on 78. He listened to them and was so impressed with his work that he sent John words to three songs to put a tune to and let the mermaids flirt with me was was uh, was one of those songs. Now we're still in standard tuning and we're back in the key of uh, we're back in the key of C. So let's get in tune with the low E. And just for grins, let's check the A string on the third fret for our C note in the bass. Now, 
here's another example of where John Hurt uh, played uh, open strings in the bass with enough palm muting going on that uh, you know the notes aren't all that distinct but it helps to keep the groove and the tempo going as he's playing these notes and so he's playing so we're back to that little two note C chord that we've used before third fret and the fifth fret first and third left hand fingers that slides down two frets so we got D and F and then the last part is the open E string and the the B string on the first fret. But while he's doing that, and he's doing that slide up into that, that was a, a thing that he used all the time, he's playing A and D in the bass. So he's playing. So it actually works out quite well. You know, you don't actually hear that that's an A and a D note as if you were playing it like this. He's got his hand on the string enough so that it, it's it's there but it's more of a, a, a percussive effect almost. Then he's going to F and then immediately back to C. And he plays that, he plays that little bass line G, A, B, C. He plays that throughout the song. And the way that I do it in the context of the song is I play. So I'm doing a downstroke with my thumb on the G note. And I'm doing an upstroke on the A string open with my first finger. And I'm coming down to do a downstroke again on the A string fret 2. And then I believe I'm using first finger to do another upstroke. So I'll play that little uh, I'll play that little passage, and we'll see how I actually do it. That's exactly how I'm doing it. I'm doing basically an alternating thing between downstrokes with my thumb and upstrokes with my first finger. You can try to do it with all downstrokes with your thumb if you want to, but because your th your thumb is playing alternating bass, it's 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 I think it's a little easier to execute that line cleanly, doing the alternating thing with the thumb and the first finger. So I'll play it again. G chord, I'm playing the, the I'm playing the D note in the melody on the B string third fret. E strings open, and that first finger again is going to reach back and play the the E string on the first fret. And the fourth finger is going to switch from the B string third fret to the E string third fret. So. Next part of this, he's playing he's playing a G chord, but he's got to slide his fourth finger up to the fifth fret on the high E to get that note. But it occurs when the thumb is playing the D string in the bass as part of our alternating pattern, so we don't have to slide the whole chord up. He may have played it that way sometimes. There are other songs where he's sliding a G chord around to different places, but in this instance, I don't believe he was doing that. Back to C, F. At a slower speed, it's possible to do it fairly easily with just downstrokes, you know, with your thumb if you want to. So. 
that's an option. Then we're going back to F. And he does this kind of weird little uh, ending on the end of the song instead of just hitting the chord as he does on every other song. He does this. He did this little slide up with his with his fourth finger, he's sliding up to the. Uh, he's, he's sliding up to frets seven and then eight. So it's. Uh, So that's what goes on in the song. There's a, a couple of, uh, you know, slightly, um, slightly kind of tricky moves that we have to execute, but they're, you know, they're actually uh, not all that difficult. So I'll play through it again slowly. <laughs> 